The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day from TFNN. Welcome to the August 19th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past, well, it's just past 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you're listening at the normal time at 1 o'clock, I'm going to make today's show as pertinent as I possibly can. And thanks for listening in. Of course, if you're listening at 8 o'clock in the morning, I would love to hear from you. So give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't uh, call in, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. So at 8.08 in the morning, Dow Equity Futures are up 267 points. That's about 1%. The same thing across the board. The ES Mini is up 1% or 29 points. And then Q's up uh, one and a quarter percent. That's 92 points. The upside, the Russell is up 1%. That's 15 points. Trading out at 15.08. Uh, overseas last night, you had all of Asia trading higher, 2% uh, in China and in Hong Kong. The Nikkei was up uh, just under 1%, 144 points over. In Germany right now, the DAX is up 1.5%. The FTSE up 1 and 2 tenths percent, 1% uh, to the upside in Australia last night. Gold is pulling back $17.30, $17.30, trading out at $15.06. Uh, signs of a major top out there, confirming the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top from last week inside gold. So we'll take a look where price is likely to pull back to. Silver is back about 1.5% or $0.25, cents, trading out at $16.87. Uh, you've got uh, natural gas back just a uh, tad Lights we crewed up 22 pennies, and the Treasury bonds also appear to be forming a, a top. But uh, we'll need some end of the day readings there. So let's go ahead and begin with let's begin with uh, really Friday's action out here. Let's take a look at the ES mini specifically. So in essence, we're looking at the S&P 500. And as you and I were discussing on Friday, we were taking a look at the uh, Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom that had formed. It had formed by the end of the day on Friday when we received when it generated that uh, three river morning star pattern out here and uh, and that's what every roads momentum signal needs either a bearish reversal signal or a bullish reversal signal in this case here what we got was the bullish reversal signal now when you get a top or a bottom what that tells you and i is that in the case here let's talk about the bottom uh that price's first move should be up to resistance well in the case of the es mini that resistance level on the september contract is 2907 we're trading at 2921 this is a daily time frame chart. I have no idea where the contract closes this afternoon. But if it does close above 2907, that tells you to expect and anticipate a further rally. In fact, this is a fairly significant bottom here. It would not be out of the question to make a move all the way back up to the top out there. But you can see where we had this big old bear sash candle out here uh, from just a few days ago. So that really puts the uh, next resistance level above 2970 in the 2944 area. So it's 2907 that you're going to be watching today in the ES Mini. We'll go take a look at the S&P 500. I'll switch over to that in a moment so that you can pay attention to that figure. Remember, these numbers here, Stevie's red line is going to change, you know, by a point or two in either direction, depending on what price is doing. But it gives you a really great framework to be able to interpret what the message of the markets is. 
above 29.44 in the ES mini, in essence, above the high from August 13th. And that says uh, you could easily run all the way back to the highs. Now, there's a possibility of an A to B equals CD pattern if, in fact, that high from August 13th gets taken out. That A to B equals CD pattern, I'm not projecting this just yet because you've got to do this one step at a time. But that A to B equals CD, you can see which would set up or could set up the Gartley sell pattern, uh, wouldn't take effect until you get up to the 2986 level out there. And uh, but again, one step at a time. 2944 and a quarter is a key level of resistance. 2907, which price is trading above as well. Now let's go take a look at the S&P 500. Give me a moment just to switch over to that. That way you'll be able to be focused on this at 111 in the afternoon, see where price is trading, and then as well be able to take a look at the 4 p.m. level. Now, Again, my red line is going to be slightly different uh, during the day, but on Friday, the close was 2906.87. So it's a 2907 level, let's call that, um, as the area to watch. And then with regard to is there going to be an A to B equal CD, we're not taking a look at that inside the S&P 500. You really can't draw an A to B equal CD pattern here. The only thing you could potentially draw, or not potentially, the only thing you can really draw here is the consolidation that's going on or appears to be going on at the moment so that consolidation looks like this uh, try to do my best to, uh, to to draw that in so here's your consolidation pattern uh, let me let's lift this up just a tad uh, there's your consolidation pattern so the high of the consolidation in essence I'm going to use that August 13th high which is 2943 so a close above 2943 that then suggests that you would have a break of a consolidation we can see that the top is relatively well set so too is the bottom and the beauty of a consolidation pattern if it's broken is you then have a measured move to the upside or the downside in this case here we're dealing with the measured move to the upside well in this case what you will see i've got to actually squeeze that is a technical term for hey make that chart a bit smaller out there that is a technical term that says if the consolidation is broken then the s p 500 will go on and make a higher high take out the old highs does that mean we're ready for the breakout to the upside no i don't think so we're still in a larger term consolidation but those are the two numbers to be watching inside the uh, es inside the s p 500 today it's going to be 2907 and then it's going to be the 2944 level out there that's what's going on in essence just by taking a look at what's going on inside the es mini that is what's going on inside the markets now with regard to the dow itself the dow cash indice it on friday generated a roads momentum indicator bottom so its key level of resistance becomes uh, Stevie's red line. That's at 26,131. Any close above that, that says, okay, it's going to deal with its consolidation. Its consolidation runs from about here. Um, that's pretty good consolidation. We'll go ahead and pull that back. Again, no A to B equals CD. Why no A to B equals CD pattern? It's it's impossible to 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 uh, to to generate on the uh, Dow Jones cash chart out here. But what's not impossible to uh, generate is the consolidation and should price close over the top of that consolidation that number out here by the way it doesn't have to be today but that number is 26427 then you're looking at a move to at least 27281 that's the breakdown level but the measured move of the consolidation takes you back to the old highs possibly a new all-time high out there so at 814 in the morning and probably 1.14 in the afternoon, things are muy bueno, very bullish. Don't be short. Don't be short just yet. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So when we were going into the, uh, by the way, if you're listening at the normal time at 118, thanks so much for doing that. We're recording today's show at 819, 818, it's 8 to 18 in the morning. And, uh, and I'll try to make the show as pertinent as we can. And as uh, we, as we were going into the uh, break out there, uh, what I uh, shared with you, I said, hey, don't go short, uh, at least not just yet. Now, of course, it all depends on the time frame uh, trader that you are out there. And I was really referring to more of the uh, swing intermediate term time frame trader. Uh, the reason why I say that is because if we decide to go, especially since it's the uh, just the equity future or all the futures that we're taking a look at this morning, I pull over Stevie's uh, Bob analysis or market uh, analyzer out here, provides me, provides clients uh, with uh, signals to let them know what the status of the current market conditions are. For example, on a 30 minute on the ES mini, it's in a consolidating uh, bull. It's in a breakout bull mode, breakout bull for the one hour, two hour, and it's consolidating in the five hour time frame. That tells me, but what I'm mostly search for are our topping and bottoming signals out here. We just took a look at the daily time frame charts for the Dow Cash Indice and the ES Mini. Those showed the rose momentum indicator bottom. Now, in the short term, you can see that all four of the equity futures are showing some short-term rose momentum indicator tops, the 30-minute and the one-hour. So let's go take a peek at those. So again, it all is a matter of perspective and the uh, time frame. And uh, so uh, if we take a look at the 30-minute uh, time frame here, for the ES Mini, uh, what we can see is that here's that rose momentum indicator topping signal out here. Uh, you've got what's really close to a shooting star up here at the high. Now, this would suggest on a pullback, first price is testing the top of its current 30-minute profile in the 29.19 level. If price closes below that, then the target, and this is a bullish structured 30-minute profile, price would be targeting 29.11 to 29.14. If things really begin to pull back, what you're looking for is a support area 
at 2903.75. That is the last breakout level. That's that red solid line on my screen out there. Uh, if we take a look at a 60 minute time frame for the ES Mini, let's go see what its chart pattern is uh, suggesting to both you and I. It's suggesting that uh, the uh, last bar, the last hourly bar at 8 o'clock, uh, that was bar number 8 of the TD setup 9 count. As long as the current uh, bar here coming into 9 closes above the close of bar number 5, that's around 29, looks like 12 or so. Um, then you've got a TD 9 count set up, and that says that price really should find support. This is a bullish structured profile as well at 29.10. What you can see here on the 60 minute time frame, the pullback right now is, uh, let me just update the chart out there, sorry, is really just testing Stevie's green line. So there's, it's got a topping signal, not a pattern, because during this uh, hour bar that we're in, which doesn't end till 9 a.m., you've got to get a bearish reversal candle. And then you also must close below Stevie's green line. And none of that has happened out there. So, um, hey, what do you do on a short-term basis? I don't think you take the short trade here either. But look, I want to be fair. I want to always just communicate to you what the charts are communicating to us. And it has nothing to do with my opinion out here. But the reason why I say eh, not so fast out here is you don't have any clear breaks of uh, the first level of support inside the ES Mini out there. And the same is, in essence, uh, for here, take a look at the NQ, another, uh, another of the futures contracts that... Um, you can see a bit, it, it went ahead and it cleared wave number seven out there. Uh, but here, price on the NQ, even though it's got that uh, topping signal, no level of support, not even the top of its uh, profile at 76.98 has been pierced. Ultimate support here on any kind of pullback, and I'm not saying it's going to get down there, but the buy the dip place would be a 76.36 and a quarter out there. A lot of work to do to the downside before that would be pulled off. So that's what's going on short term. Now, earlier, before we began the show, uh, there was a request to go take a look at the um, March 2020 uh, futures contract for natural gas. So as we take a look at that, that's what you're looking at right now. And uh, here's what we can say, uh, John, about that. What you see is that price right now, natural gas, that is, uh, the 2020, the uh, March 2020 level is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's a real key level of support out here, 2.489. Now, um, what that tells me, John, is that we should expect lower price. Now, I'm not just using it from, from I've been expecting to see one more push lower inside of natural gas. It had nothing to do with taking a look at the market profiles. But now, of course, seeing that, and it's a weekly profile we're looking at, so it doesn't really matter until Friday, folks. But here, let me show you what it is that I'm looking at. And I had to put up the continuous contract in order to show this. And what I'm showing here on the weekly time frame chart, and that's why the weekly profile is kind of a key level, here's what we we know. We know that natural gas formed its top with its TD9 count out here. This is back in November of 2018. From there, if we just start doing our wave count to the downside, this is just only one, one minute portion of the uh, Chapman wave. So it's just the uh, numbering or lettering uh, counting to the downside. We got to wave number six. That's letter F on my screen. Two weeks ago, I was because we had a higher low last week. Now, we know that when we get to wave number seven, we love seeing and we will love we love how the market sings in the key of G out there. Uh, what we uh, what we'd like to do is see an additional lower low bringing into play that seventh wave move out there. And uh, with price really being able to close above Stevie's uh, red line or even its uh, profile levels out here, um, all of this suggests, uh, you know, be patient. Maybe it's not this week that you see that lower low. Maybe it's next week out there. So I think that naturally gas is uh, maybe uh, trying to line up for us. It's just I just don't see it as we speak at the uh, moment out there. Um, so that takes care of taking a look at natural gas. We had a request to go take a look at the XLE, I believe. Let me make sure that that's what was asked. Jay, uh, Jim asked, uh, can we take a look at XLE and XOM? One, if you feel they have formed a bottom here. So let's take a look at the XLE. The XLE was close, but no cigar. Uh, I lost my chart. Okay, let's uh, let's repost that. Uh, no good to uh, no good to not see the charts out there. And uh, since the charts were lost, let me uh, let me make sure I put. Oh shoot! I already changed it to natural gas. 
Hopefully you saw that. If not, during the break, uh, folks, what I will do is uh, repost that chart for natural gas uh, for you, John. But let's uh, move on to the uh, energy sector out here. What do we know about it? And Jim is looking for some type of bottom. So here's what we know with regard to profile levels. Let me just see where is this trading at. Uh, right now in the uh, pre-market. So closed at 57.02, last trade fired off at 57.61. We take a look at our profiles. The bottom of the daily profile, Jim, is 57.79. So at a minimum, price needs to close above that. If you did see a price close above 57.79, 58.41 becomes the next resistance point to close above 58.41 would say you would at least have a counter trend rally or should have a counter trend rally that would move price to 60.30 out there. Price also below the bottom of its weekly profile. That's 59.77 out there. Now, the reason why I say it was close and no cigar, because price was pushing lower, doing a less relative energy, but we did not get that bullish reversal candle on Friday. We did inside the Dow. We did not inside of the energy sector, the XLE. So I would just suggest to you to be patient out here. I don't have any kind of bottoming signal on the uh, weekly time frame chart. I don't have anything on the monthly time frame chart. And with price being below profiles, I think it's prudent, prudent, I say, to just be patient out there. Let alone, I didn't really see a, uh, anything significant going on in light sweet crude um, in some of the other charts that I pay attention to. If anything, price is pulling back to 54.80. right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
uh, folks. So if you're listening at 1 o'clock or it's 1.30 right now, thanks so much for doing that. We're recording the show. It's 8.30 in the morning right now. You've got gold trading down uh, 14 uh, bucks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gold contract, a little conversation inside the Tiger's Den. Here's what we know right now about uh, Goldilocks. We know that it uh, confirmed both twice last week, a Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top. It did it with this key reversal session here. That was on the trading session of uh, August 13th. For those of you that don't know what a key reversal session is, uh, you have to be, there's really three things that are required. You need to be in extended condition. Well, uh, that was the case. We know that the case just simply because of the move. Uh, but here we had price being stretched, doing it with less relative energy out there. That's why. So you got to be in an extended condition. Number two, um, the current bar. So this is a, a daily time frame chart we're looking at. The current bar, uh, the price must be exceeded. Uh, the, from the, the high and low of the prior bar must be exceeded. Well, that happened right here. Again, this is the trading day of August the 13th. And then the final thing is you have to have at least one tick close in the opposite direction of the trend. Well, we did that. You can see just simply the uh, red bodied candle out there. You then had a, a bearish engulfing candle session out here on uh, Friday, but price did not close below Stevie's green line out there, which is at 1522.20. So it was impossible. It was really a competing top pattern going against support. And whenever you get a top, price is always going to go or should go at least back to support. And you got to understand where those support levels are because that's going to help you with regard to reward risk, whether or not you want to get in on that trade. Now, if we see a close below 15.22.20 today, what that's done is that has then said, okay, there should be a further retracement. It says we got to go back and take a look, see if there's any new market profiles on this time frame chart, which there aren't at this stage of the game. Maybe there will be at the end of the day. And so here this says price would pull back to its most recent breakout level. That would be 14.12. That's about 100 points below where it's trading right now. And 1412 would be or could be an ideal point to buy into Goldilocks. Now, that's what the daily time frame chart is communicating to you and I. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, let's go check a look, take a look at it, see what its signals are. You can see the A to B equals CD to the upside out here, uh, a 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD. And it's possible that this week will be a bearish reversal candle. We just don't know. If it is this week, that confirms an intermediate term top. We want to take a look at daily daily is swing, weekly is intermediate-ish, and um, long-term being monthly uh, time frame charts out there. So there's potential here. Here, this would say the pullback would be to Stevie's green line at 1457, nothing being wrong there. Now, where are we at 833 in the morning? Well, in the Tiger's Den, what I was suggesting, because the question was, hey, should I get into dust right now? And my response was, well, I would wait. Now, we know that there's a directional correlation uh, between gold and the GDX out there, and dust being the three-time uh, ETF for the gold miners uh, ETF uh, to the uh, downside, the bearish uh, side of it. Uh, but here, if we just take a look at the, the tools that you and I use, it's just a handful of tools. There are only a handful of tools that you really need to learn. You don't have to go through the thousands, ten thousands of hours that I've gone through to bisect and dissect as our leader Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, likes to use from a terminology out there you don't you, you just need to know what I know works so well and here we do it each day each each afternoon each morning out here we use really the same patterns it's probably gets boring to you right no it never gets boring because the market's always moving we're just looking for the signals now here's what we know we know that the 30-minute uh, time frame chart formed its top with rose momentum indicator top we can see that with the bearish engulfing out here 30-minute time frame if we just start our wave count so we just took a look at natural gas before the break we said you know what from a weekly standpoint, uh, even the daily way it's trading, let's wait to wave number seven, letter G. Well, if we do the same thing from the uh, top here in gold on a 30-minute base, we do our wave count, we can see that the uh, last half hour that ended at 8.30, we can see that it is in or it's at now has confirmed wave number seven, letter G. Now, what price is doing on a 30-minute basis is taking on Stevie's red line. That looks like it's about 15.08. We're trading at 15.09. This is a 30-minute chart. Next bar doesn't continue include until nine o'clock. But if price closes above, I would say 1510 bullish structured profile of the 30 minute uh, chart for gold out here. Uh, that would then say price should bounce up to 1512.60. So if SNP was trying to time the uh, or anybody out there was trying to time the short into dust, 
watch the 30 minute time frame chart we have the numbers out here i'm not going to be a soothsayer and tell you exactly where prices are going because i don't know what we do know is where to look what to look for we know to look for wave number seven that's letter g we know to look for the roads momentum indicator top and bottom signals we know what to look for when those signals get generated and then we can use stevie's red green line we can use our taz market profiles they're going to help us with support and resistance and then finally we can use our td uh set up uh, trend lines out there that's where prices either break out or break down. In our case here, the breakdown level was 15 19 90. That may be your ultimate place for a rally in gold to then come into a trade inside of uh, dust out there. So that's how I see it. Just simply take things one step at a time. Let the market communicate to you what it wants to do out here. But right now, the signal is, mm, the signal is be risky. To step into that trade and certainly in the pre-market at 8 uh, 36 out here so looks to me again we're just using the exact same tools the exact same tools for any time frame uh and they just simply assist us uh, greatly with regard to understanding what the market's intent is and what it wants to do and then just let it do its thing and then go ahead and take action look what 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 i'm not going to do is try to convince you that you can sell the top tick or buy the bottom tick it's a it's a uh, it's it's like it's futile it gets done out there somebody's got to do it right and i've done it a few times out there and i just consider it to be more blind luck than anything else or just simply trading right into a resistance level like stevie's apogee perigee pivot point or things of that sort out there but 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 what you want to do is you just simply again let the market communicate to you and uh, go from there it's it's why with regard to these bottoming signals that we got out here yeah you've heard you hear me talk about the seasonality and so forth and seasonality uh, isn't anything that we're going to just simply hang our hat on. Yeah, we're in an unfavorable seasonal cycle out here. But we know what to be looking for. We know the bottom signals that get generated inside of the uh, inside these markets. We know how they make significant bottoms and significant tops out here. And uh, and that's why we say, okay, so we're in the unfavorable seasonal cycle. Maybe it's just going to, because the tide's going out, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But look, at a minimum, we should see the ES mini trade up into that 2940 level. And above that, you're looking at 2986, maybe 3032 out there as its uh, target areas. Uh, so that's what's going on in side of gold right now uh, on uh, multiple time frames out there if we take a look at t-bonds out here t-bonds are all oh, oh, i guess i can do this um, because the show is going to be replayed and i know somebody will ask the question out there well what's gold doing in all the major currencies out here and here's what we know gold pulling back in terms of euros in terms of yen in terms of pound sterling out there and that is what is needed in order for gold to continue to retrace and pull back and move lower out here it needs to see the price of gold trading lower in all currencies when that happens then you can have sellers across the globe if it's moving lower in dollars and higher in yen and higher in pounds out there then here in the u.s there's sellers and over in europe or japan there are buyers out there but right now as of 838 we're seeing price pull back with regard to goldilocks with regard to the uh, u.s treasury bond out here what's it doing hey look it generated wave number seven i don't make this stuff up i just simply count the waves Wave number seven it is. A Rhodes momentum indicator top as well. And right now, a Three River evening star pattern. The opposite of the ES minis, ES uh, Three River morning star pattern. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the tax opportunity zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. 8.42 in the morning. Uh, uh, you got Dow Equity Futures up uh, 283, S&P 31, NASDAQ up 104. And uh, so Hector, uh, listening in, uh, wrote in and wants to take a look at Skyworks Solutions. And his question is, you know, has this bottom? So let's take a look at Skyworks Solutions, ticker symbol there, SWKS. Uh, right now in the pre-market trade in the 78 and change level, close at 76 66 out here so it's going to get back inside its uh, profiles now here what you're going to see let me just put up the daily time frame chart hector here what you're going to see is really only a bottom and a top let me turn off price it's going to be easier so that you can see the uh, profile level see most profiles like the prior box had a center a top and a bottom this current profile does not it only has a top and a bottom ah not so fast it's also got a bottom it just happens to be at the price level where, uh, or I mean, the cent also has a center. It happens to be at the price level where the bottom is at. So that should be a key level of support. You don't want to see, I know that you're long, you don't want to see price closing below that a level out here. So price is trading above that. What's that say? Well, let's also take a look at Stevie's other chart out here for Skyworks. Well, well let's finish this off here. You are trading above, or it is trading above its weekly profile, so that's good. And it's trading in between its monthly and its quarterly profiles out there. So let's look at the daily time frame chart for Skyworks Solutions. What do we know out here? Well, we know that it formed its top. Well, first, we know it formed a bottom with a rose momentum indicator bottom pattern. We know from there, if we do the wave count to the upside, it went ahead and formed its high with wave number seven. That's letter number G. It's why we pay attention. And we also know that a few days ago, Stevie's green line turned red. Now, Hector, when that occurs out here, when the uh, red line or green line, when they switch colors, that tells us that the price oscillator is at zero. There's a phenomena associated with it. So here's what you're looking for. Let's go back to the prior change in color. Here's the prior change in color. It takes place, looks like, on July 2nd or July the 3rd out there. And then what that tells us is that we should anticipate that price and Stevie's red slash green line are going to catch up to each other. That's the phenomena. I can't tell you why it works. I just know that it does work. I know that you pay attention. More so than that, I know that you're looking for the test to tell you what its real intent is, the market's real intent is. Price pulls back and tests that level. It got down very close to it on July 9th. It got goes close to it on July 11th. It actually tagged it on July 18th. That was the final test to say, okay, 
okay. I tested it. I rejected it. I'm moving higher. It moves higher. It does wave number seven. So because that line changed color, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to think that this morning's pre-market rally is the sign of a bottom out there. It is not. It is just the extension of the exact opposite of what you and I just looked at for Skyward Solution on the daily profile, on the daily uh, chart out here. That's the same thing that is unfolding because that line turned from green to red. That means that's going to be your real key level out here, Hector. Uh, 7888 is the print. This is going to change after the market opens, but you can use that figure uh, pretty well. So 7888 is where you want to see price. You don't want to see a test. And rejection. Now, if you do get a test and rejection, that would then say, okay, price maybe is just consolidating the bottom here. It should pull back and test the bottom of that box out there. We took a look at that area, but if it closes below the bottom of that profile, as it has for the last couple of days, you could see an A to B equals CD to the downside. That would look like this. We don't have that pattern just yet. I'm not going to say that's the well, that's the pattern that I quite frankly in, in play out here. And that bottom really might be around 66, uh, 70. Eight. What happens if price Hector closes above Stevie's red line? Excellent question. I'm glad you asked. Well, price should then go to the next level of resistance, 81.96. In order for this to generate some type of nicer bottoming signal out there, and I don't really have a bottoming signal, but just simply that, and and and. The rose momentum indicator top or wave number seven or a TD setup nine count is not at every top and every bottom. It's just when we see those patterns form, we don't ignore them. We're not going to ignore this. So a close above Stevie's red line at 78.88 says price would then target 81.96. A close above the top of that daily profile says, okay, you've got something price may run back up to its highs out there. But right now, you don't have that. You have the counter trend rally that you would anticipate because Stevie's red line, which turned green and now has gone from green to red, says you should just see price, just the natural phenomena of price testing that level to tell you what its real intent is. So I hope that helps you out and best of luck with that trade. You're off to a good start. And now let's just watch to see if this thing can break through resistance levels. And thanks for writing in early in the morning. So no other questions that are out there. So what do we want to take a look at? What else can we take a look at that's important? Well, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. So the New York Stock Exchange uh, this morning, we're going to see its advanced decline oscillator above zero. The question is, will it close above zero today? Now, when you close above zero, you can see right now the reading is minus 32.91. When you close above zero, you need to see a second reading uh, close above zero out there. And if you get that, that tells you that the buyers are back in control. It also says that you could see its advanced decline oscillator reading get up to the plus 150 level. It's at the plus 150 level where we may take a look at the rally, the ensuing rally right now, uh, begin to stop. The other level on this chart that we want to pay attention to, again, it's 848 in the morning. The spot volatility index is trading right now at 1746. That is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That number is 1638. Of course, that number is going to change by a penny or two, but write that one on your pad of paper, 1638. That is the level of what could be support where the spot volatility index travels to. Yeah, support. Now, if price closes below the 50-day exponential moving average and you've got the advanced decline oscillator reading above zero, and then you get a second reading above zero the following day, this would tell us that the spot volatility index is headed towards a $12.76 area. And what that would mean to me is uh, what that would mean to us, what that would mean to the chart patterns out here, is that consolidation that we looked at inside the S&P 500 cash indice and inside the Dow Jones cash indice out here is likely to get busted through and that run back to the highs. We're not there just yet. We just know what to be watching for. And right now this says, because price is below 1835, the VIX is trading at 1745, odds favor move down to that 50-day exponential moving average, 1638. And there ain't no way that the markets are going to go lower with the spot volatility index moving lower out there. And so that's something else for you to be paying attention to. At 149 in the afternoon, of course, we're watching it right now at 849 in the morning. But everything really is set up for for this rally to uh, continue and very likely for at least two days. But let's watch 
the uh, spot volatility index, which, by the way, on Friday generated another one of its uh, another one of its uh, uh, initiation signals. That's the green arrow on the chart. We looked at that on Friday. It actually was confirmed at days end, and that says, hey, at least two more days left in the rally. Again, we know what we're looking for, and that's in that 2944-ish area inside of the S&P 500. So at 8:50 in the morning, Dow futures up 297, 298, S&P 33. NASDAQ up 108, Russell 2000 up 17, gold back 15, silver down 20 pennies. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back for the two minute wrap. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls to sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Thanks for being here. Again, if you're listening, it's 154. Thanks for listening to the show. I should be back. Should be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Uh, um, we'll do my best to uh, to do that. Uh, so going into the uh, closeout here, uh, close of the uh, show, I should say, uh, Ruby wants to take a look at sugar. So uh, Ruby's question is, uh, do you have an entry point for sugar? So if we take a look at uh, sugar, 
Uh, no sugar tonight in my coffee. We can see that uh, here's our 60, our 120 minute, our five hour, 300 minute, and our daily set, and, and our daily chart out here, the very right hand panel, shows you both the uh, daily and weekly profiles right now. So the question is uh, here, what it looks like Ruby, is that price is going to test the bottom of that daily profile, $11.37 out there. So if it can form that little higher low, okay, maybe. Uh, but ideally, you would see, if that's occurring, you'll see some type of profile form on a 60-minute time frame chart and, you know, at least to give you some kind of backing out here, maybe additional signal. If I look at the daily chart out here using my other set of tools, and I want you to ignore the profiles on this chart, I'm going to go with my black background chart. Here's what we know. Sugar makes a road momentum indicator bottom price bounces right up to resistance that's where price had broken down the 1294 level and then from there if we do a wave count to the downside well what we likely have is wave number seven back on august 7th so that higher low that entry point uh, that would be nice out there right so but of course if you see price close below 1127 out there um that's not looking good i mean there could even be an a to b equal cd to the downside out here so your question was an entry point that 1137 area is the place you can consider but what i would do is i would shorten it up to a shorter term time frame and see if you can see some type of turn maybe a 30 minute time frame something like that ruby so i hope that helps you out uh, thanks for a sweet start to our day folks stay tuned you've got uh, two great shows coming up if it's uh if you're listening at 856 it's larry pesavento and if you're listening at 156 it's david white so have a marvelous monday and i look forward hopefully to seeing you on terrific tuesday Take care. Thanks for a great start to the day.